There is an improved method for connecting bookmap to Ninja 7 or 8. Note this method is used for bookmap versions 7.1 or greater. In this video, we'll connect to Ninja 8. The process is similar to Ninja 7. However, first make sure you have both Ninja and bookmap 7.1 or greater installed on your machine. Now open Ninja and make sure it's connected to the live market. Next, import the proper bookmap Ninja script in Ninja by going to Tools, Import, Ninja Script Add-on. You'll find the bookmap Ninja script in your local C drive, Program Files, or Program Files x86. Then in Bookmap, NT for Ninja Trader. Select and open the bookmap indicator .v8 for Ninja 8. For Ninja 7, use the other one. I've already imported the Ninja script, so let's move on to the next step. Open a new Ninja chart. Go to New, Chart, and we'll select the S&P E-mini, and open a simple one-minute chart without indicators and just a few days of data. Let's click OK. Then in the Ninja chart, click on the indicator icon. Scroll down and double click on Bookmap X-Ray. Make sure it's added to the configured section and click OK. Next you'll note a message instructing you to start Bookmap and enable NinjaTrader from the Bookmap Connections dropdown. Then go back and refresh the Ninja chart. I've already opened Bookmap so let's go to Connections and select NinjaTrader. Now let's go back to the Ninja chart and refresh the ES chart by pressing F5 on the keyboard. Let's go back to Bookmap and you can see the ES chart is now loading in Bookmap. However, before Bookmap opens, you might be prompted to select the proper account. Make sure you do so. Note that the live market must be open and a tick must occur in order for Bookmap to open. If you want to add another symbol in Bookmap, open another chart in Ninja and add Bookmap as an indicator to that chart. You'll note that another tab with the new instrument will open in Bookmap.